Maria Menounos is revealing the shocking news that she privately battled stage 2 pancreatic cancer earlier this year. On Wednesday, the Healing Squad podcast host opened up to people about the devastating diagnosis, saying, I'm like, how in the freaking world can I have a brain tumor and pancreatic cancer? All I could think was that I have a baby coming. The 44-year-old who is expecting her first child with her husband, Kevin Undergaro, via surrogate this summer, explained that they discovered it was cancer in January, and in February, she underwent a successful surgery to extract a 3.9-centimeter tumor. During the procedure, doctors also removed part of her pancreas, her spleen, a large fibroid, and 17 lymph nodes. It was super painful. I couldn't move or lift myself up she told the publication. Maria, who has been open about her health journey, previously had surgery to remove a benign brain tumor in 2017 and found out she has type 1 diabetes just last summer. I was like, how could God finally bless me with a baby and then take me before I get to meet her? I guttural cried. It was so intense, she recalled thinking. Maria admitted she had to have a tough conversation with her husband in the midst of her emotional year, which she called traumatic and stressful, saying of their conversation, If something happens, here are the people I want her around and what I want you to do. You'll probably have to move back east to be with my dad so that she has him. We talked about all of it. We imagined the worst. Now, the former TV correspondent who lost her own mother to brain cancer in 2021 is putting the finishing touches on the nursery for her daughter and says she is thankful to be alive, adding, God granted me a miracle. I'm going to appreciate having her in my life so much more than I would have before this journey. On Wednesday, Maria confirmed she is going to be okay since they caught it early and also took to her own Instagram, writing, I still haven't come to grips with it all, including the fact that so very few even survive pancreatic cancer. I have so much information and so many breakthroughs that I think slash hope can save others. For now, I'll say how grateful I am to be able, alive, and well, and that I will get to hold my baby.